Hi, my name is Nate Smith Manley, and this is a demonstration of Roto, the artificial intelligence uh, interactive voice response interface. Roto is a prototype and still in development. Without further ado, let's have a look. Here is Roto's interface. And uh, now I don't want to install Windows Update, go away. Uh, as you can tell, it is powered by a Windows system. Right now, the interface works best uh, powered under Windows as far as the uh, JavaScript uh, speech processing uh, libraries that I utilize work best in the Windows environment. So for this, we're using uh, Chrome and uh, Windows 10 at the moment. I don't think there's any reason to upgrade to uh, Windows 11 at this point. So let's uh, let's take a look. Let's give Roto a call on Skype. Hi there. Hello. Hi, how are you today? How are you, Roto? Can you tell me what the weather is currently? The weather in Muskegon is currently mostly cloudy. The temperature is 47 degrees Fahrenheit. The wind is blowing from the southeast at a speed of 10.4 miles per hour. Can you tell me what's five times five? The answer is 25. Can you tell me what is pi to the 10th digit? Pi to the 10th digit is 3.14159265535. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Call again soon. It has been my pleasure. All right, as you can see, this is the interface here. This is where it is translating my voice or reading uh, what I'm saying. You can see it took a, a couple of stabs at completing uh, what I was saying exactly before it go ahead and sends it to the server for processing. Uh, the server is a Linux-based server, which is not on site here. I'll show you the client, though, that is just simply a uh, Dell PC up here. It has a sound card loop back. Basically, it's uh, usually locked up. However, uh, if anything should happen to the system, there is a spare that can just be turned on at, at any location. Most of the processing goes on the server. If we have, I'll show I'll actually show you my code here. I'm perfectly happy to uh, share my code details. The uh, devil's in the details, so to speak, of, of setting this up. So I'm happy to share how I code it. This is the uh, JavaScript interface that we just saw that I just showed you on the Windows computer. Um, we're now we're looking at just CSS definitions there of making it making it look nice. The user never gets to see that part, but I certainly get to. And now we're looking at the JavaScript here. We're looking at some of the definitions, setting this up, uh, defining some of the variables. Uh, we choose what uh, there are two speech processors. You're looking at some of the setup for the, the uh, backup speech processor. Primarily the speech is processed by Open API's, Open AI's API, speech API, which then returns it to us in a MP3 format, which is streamed back to the user. In case that fails, we do our own speech processing 
it sounds a little bit grainy in computers and it sounds like uh, uh, definitely a more uh, primitive speech synthesis, but it's still quite readable as a backup and just in case we do not get the uh, a response from open AI in case they are down. We do do 40% processing on our servers of uh, commands and context before. All right, so we're looking at this. Now we're looking at the server code here. What's going on in the server? We keep the history here. I do provide the date uh, to open AI so it can calculate things like you can ask like how many days to Christmas? So it's gonna know. Now, if you know, if you, if you just use chat B GPT and you ask that question, it may not know the date and you'll see that most other people that just uh, use the API and don't use do, do their own command processing, it's not gonna know what the date is. Uh, we're looking at there, uh, uh, it, uh, that is a um, band processing for uh, rate limiting. Uh, OpenAI does its own rate limiting, but of course I'm running my own AI server, so I want to do my own rate limiting. All right, now we're talking about how it figures out the weather information. you just seen it due to weather. That's typically not something that chat or uh, open AI's uh, API is going to have knowledge of. So we do our own processing for weather. I use my own weather information from muskeganalmanac.com, which is my own own weather uh, website. And that is what is used. Here are some of the random greetings it gives when you say hello. When you say hello, I provide my own greeting instead of using OpenAI for that response. Why pay for OpenAI services? When the response to hello is pretty common. And we have a whole bunch of automatic responses that my uh, pre-processing or my processing before uh, I send it out to OpenAI. If there's any, if any of this matches, then I do my own processing and I do not send it to OpenAI because I do about 40% of processing on the front end. Again, what we're looking at here is the actual code on the Linux server that gets processed, essentially my own AI system and then gets sent out as well. 40% uh, of the time gets set out to open AI's API for a response and for the uh, speech, actual uh, speech synthesis that occurs. Most of it is generated by open AI's API as well.